Whether you're driving back home after a hectic office day or enjoying a road trip with your family, your car might break down at some point of your journey. No matter what the cause is, it can easily ruin your day and lead you toward unwanted trouble. Many times these problems are minor and with the right tools, you fix them for yourself and even stay safe until additional help arrives. But what if you don't? That's a hassle, right? Well, some of you may be confused about which items to keep in the emergency kit. Hence, we have come up with today's video about must-have emergency kits that you should have in your car. These gadgets eat up less space in your car and become a lifesaver when you need it the most. So without further ado, let's get started. First, you should get a car jack and a spare tire. Your tires are the ones that leave your side when you need them mostly by becoming flat or incurring a sudden blowout while cruising down the road. To ease your difficulty of replacing the tires, you'll need a car jack which will carry the weight of your car. Also, it's very important to keep a properly inflated spare tire in the car, thus you can easily replace it with a functional spare tire and continue your journey. Next, you should get jumper cables and a starter. Cars' batteries tend to die without any notice and it's a very common scenario. This is often when you don't use your car regularly and it runs out of power in the middle of a journey. A dead battery can easily be turned on again with the help of jumper cables. Simply connect your dead battery with another vehicle's functional battery and try to jumpstart your car. Moreover, you can keep a jump starter that acts as a power source and you can drag power from it to power up the dead battery. After that, you should get a window breaker and a seat belt cutter. In the event of an accident, it's very vital to get out of the car as early as possible. As cars these days are electronic based and they become non-functional when you have an accident. And so you can get stuck inside your car and easily step towards your biggest nightmare. But you can easily get out if you're equipped with a glass breaker and a seat belt cutter. With a glass breaker, you can break your window glass, windshields and back glass. And with a seat belt cutter, you can easily cut off the seat belt and get out easily. Next, you should get duct tape. Due to the bumpy and broken roads, a fragile part of your car can fall apart. Your bumper, fender, side mirror, or even your windshield can get loose and you may not find a repair station nearby. In that situation, duct tape can really be a solution that patches up the broken piece temporarily. And so you can visit the nearest service station with your car in one piece. Up next, you should get a tow strap. Not all the roads are smooth and solid for driving, especially the rural roads or mountain roads. And at any time, your car can easily end up getting stuck even though it's an all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Also, your car battery can die in the middle of the road or you run out of fuel, then you need to be pulled by another vehicle. For these reasons, you should keep a heavy-duty tow strap inside your car so that you can be pulled out by another vehicle or truck when you get stuck. With the right multi-purpose utility tools and simple car problems are easier to fix. You can choose the basic one that consists of a small hammer, wire cutters, a variety of wrenches, screwdriver, extra bolts, power tools, and so on. With these tools, you can manually fix the car for the time being and reach any service center for further inspection. During the daytime, you have ambient natural light that can help you get away with the situation. But mishaps can often happen at night when the visibility is very low. That's where a portable light can be handy, which can help you with enough light. And so you can fix your car or signal any oncoming car about your need for assistance and even warn them of possible danger. If you are constantly driving in high temperatures during summer, your engine could catch fire due to the engine overheating. Also, when you incur any severe accident, your car is prone to catch fire as well. That's why a portable fire extinguisher is a must to keep in your car so that you can put it off in the initial stage. You can keep it in an easy hand accessible place like in front of the passenger seat. Sometimes we often incur small accidents or get injured on the road. Also, when a car breaks in the middle of a journey, people try to fix it on their own and at times hurt themselves while doing so. At that very moment, a first aid kit can make a huge difference for taking immediate aid before reaching a nearby hospital. That's why a first aid kit is a must inside your car, which you can customize according to your need. Initially, you can consider keeping antiseptic spray, bandages, adhesive tape, 
ointment, gauze, a thermometer, and so on. Moreover, some basic dry food and a bottle of pure drinking water will be necessary as you will need basic foods for energy and water to meet your thirst. Besides, you can keep a warm blanket and clothes that can keep you and your family surviving cold temperatures. And last but not least, you should have a satellite communicator. People are always enthusiastic about roaming around the tourist spots and after the pandemic, the rate has increased drastically, especially towards remote mountains or hillsides. In a remote tourist spot, you can encounter any unwanted mishap and may need emergency help. You have your smartphone with you, but it might run out of network coverage. To contact your dear ones or the emergency service, you can keep a satellite communicator with you. It's an expensive unit, but can become the lifesaver in your worst possible moment. In the end, the right emergency kit can really play a vital role from fixing your car to ensuring immediate medical aid in an accident that you have just incurred. So it's always important to have the right emergency kit so that you stay prepared and protected while additional help arrives. And with this, we wrap up today's video on the must-have emergency toolkits in your car. Give a thumbs up if you've enjoyed our video and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Be sure to smash the subscribe button and never miss any upcoming video on the channel.